Your first alert weather. Well, we've been dealing with the scattered rain and snow today with the warmer temperatures. Now, I know it's not really warm outside, but it's warmer than the past couple of days. We've been getting into those 40s above the freezing mark, and that's been allowing for more rainfall in the lower elevations. Once you get above 5,000, 6,000 feet, you're starting to see more of that turn over to snow. Uh, the Lad Summit, though, is getting the rain right now, and it's coming up pretty good with some heavy showers right along the interstate. And then moving over east into Alpine, it's been snowing steadily this afternoon, making for some wet, soggy conditions, but the road is passable, just dealing with some wet roads. As you go up higher into the mountains, you will be running into some snow. Teton Pass, pretty snowy right now, no surprise there. Pine Creek Pass, also pretty snowy. We've had a rain-snow mix this afternoon around Sam. We've got some rain showers right now there at the airport. And then over on the north end of I-15, Manita Pass going into Montana. Things are looking clear on the roads. Just some scattered hits of rain and snow. It's not too bad right now getting up over the mountains right now, but it's snowing down uh, pretty good right now up towards Island Park. We've been seeing a steady snow here at Henry's Lake, but again, the road is passable. Highway 20, you can actually see the pavement with the showers moving on through. On Viper, we have rain and snow working into the region and more rain you notice today in the Snake River Plain with the showers right now coming at us out of the southern parts of the Snake River Plain and the eastern Magic Valley. The stuff sliding up towards us here for the next couple of hours. Uh, but by tomorrow, a lot of the wet weather is going to clear out of here nicely. And then we're going to pull in some sunshine for Friday. We're actually going to try to catch in a little bit of a break in here before our next front rolls in from the southwest this Saturday. But we're still stuck with the unsettled conditions through the weekend. It looks like we really can't shake it until after Easter. Temperatures for comparison purposes, yeah, normally we'd be at 57 for this date. We're only going to get into the lower 40s tomorrow, but we're going to push it into the 50s by Saturday. And the reason we're going to push it into the 50s, the next system's coming at us here from the southwest. We're actually going to be on the warmer side of the storm. We're going to be under the warm front for Saturday. We're going to be dealing with rain, some thunderstorms, and some mountain snow. Temperatures will fall as we get into Easter Sunday on the other side of that cold front that's going to swing in Saturday afternoon. You'll see that drop in your Viper cast in the eight day. Here's a look at the Viper tonight. We have scattered rain and snow across the region around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock tonight. And then through the overnight hours, we actually begin to clear out and we try to work in some sunshine, especially in the upper valley and the middle parts of the Snake River Plain here for tomorrow morning. Some clouds and some showers still with us out towards Pocatello. But as we work through your afternoon, partly cloudy skies, it's going to be windy for your Friday with a few mountain snow showers. Friday night, we're clearing out nicely before the Saturday system rolls on in. Here we go. Saturday morning, clouds starting to envelop the region and we'll see scattered rain and snow Saturday afternoon noon and evening, continuing a little bit into Sunday. And in all of this mess, we're still looking at about an inch or less of accumulation in the Snake River Plain, but we could wind up with two to four inches more for snow in Jackson and also around places like Bear Lake County, Stanley, four to eight inches possible. 39 for the high in Montpelier, 40 for Soda Tomorrow with a high of 47 in Malad. We're going to score in the lower 40s for Rexburg tomorrow, mid 30s in Jackson, 35 for Island Park, Central Idaho, 43 for Chalice, 36 Mackey. Temperatures in the Snake River Plain into the low 40s for highs in IF, 46 in Pocatello, and close to 50 towards Burley and Twin Falls. And check out the eight day forecast behind me. Temperatures here into the mid 50s for Saturday for Blackfoot. As the cold front rolls on in Saturday night, we'll have dropping temperatures for Sunday. Highs for Easter into the upper 40s. But look at next week. Everybody's been asking me, when's it going to warm up? When's it going to warm up? Well, it looks like finally next week we'll have some spring-like weather. We'll have some warmer numbers coming through here with highs into the 50s and 60s. As you take a look at the Rexburg 8-day forecast, a high of 50 on Saturday with a good amount of wet weather moving through on Saturday afternoon. Salmon, upper 30s tomorrow, but the upper 40s for Saturday. And we're back down to the mid-40s for Sunday, but into the 40s and 50s getting into Monday and Tuesday of next week. Chance of some wet weather next Tuesday, but nothing crazy. Jackson, 47 for the high Saturday with scattered hits of snow and even a few rumbles of thunder with a rain-snow mix. Temp Temperatures next week into the 40s and 50s. Pocatello, 50 to 7 degrees for Saturday, 51 for Sunday. Uh, Easter Sunday, we're going to start off with some clouds, but as we step into your Sunday afternoon, we'll shake off some of those clouds. We'll warm it up into the mid to upper 60s for Monday afternoon. Idaho Falls, 43 for the high tomorrow, but we're going to leap into the 50s for Saturday with scattered rain and snow and rumbles of thunder. The winds will be with us all weekend long. Temperatures will get into the 60s and 50s to get us rolling into the start of next week. We might even see some low 70s 
by next Thursday. Look at that towards the end of the eight day forecast. Some warmer numbers trying to push back through. Todd. Leap, I say. Yes, thanks, Michael. When we come back, the deadline to get your taxes in is quickly approaching. A deadline you really do not want to miss. This SkyCam Network, sponsored by 